Good evening, good day to everybody in the crypto world. It is 8.49 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 10.28.2019. Currently Bitcoin at 93.87, Ethereum 187.59, XRP 30 cents, yay. Okay. <laughs> uh, BCH at 284.22 and Litecoin at 59.11. And we're going to stop it right there and go back up. 248 for the um, billions of the market cap and almost 30 billion for the daily, um, depending on who you're looking at, up to 60 coin market cap. So that is going on there. And you can see that there's about a 1.42% increase for a lot of them. BCH is up almost 8%. And all coins were cooking more than Bitcoin earlier today. And, but then Bitcoin picked up some speed and is doing a little bit better as we speak. So you've got the news next. China announces new regulatory authority to certify digital payments and blockchain products. China's central bank, the People's Bank of China, will certify 11 types of financial technology hardware and software that are widely used for digital payment and blockchain services with this new verification system called the certification of fintech products okay good to hear that china is moving rapidly this usually is not a big story when you have a, a congressman or a senator um push for bitcoin and nobody's listening or <laughs> push for crypto and nobody's listening um, but, <clears throat> excuse me, in this particular situation, this one, I think he's getting some attention. Um, following last week's congressional hearing uh, with Mark Zuckerberg over Facebook's Libra intentions, one lawmaker, Tom Emmer, has outlined his intention to introduce a new U.S. crypto bill that could provide token sales legal protection from SEC enforcement actions. The Republican congressman for Minnesota, said the U.S. authorities should only apply securities regulations to cryptocurrencies that meet the traditional criteria of securities. And he has one great point down below. Although most blockchain companies, particularly in the U.S., try their best to follow the rules, authorities are adapt to, uh, at moving the goalpost, he said. And that is always happening. They're changing rules, basically. That created uncertainty that made it difficult for the blockchain sector to operate legitimately in the country. You think they're doing it on purpose or what? Um, so, but anyway, that could gain some traction there. Okay, the video review of the Ledger Nano X is around, and you can take a look at it on the uh, BitcoinMagazine.com. I'm not going to go through it right now. It's very similar to the S, and does a very good, reliable storage of your coins but you want to make sure you have malware bytes installed on your computer because there was a trojan going around and playing games with the ledger um, not that it's happening anymore but you always want to protect yourself tech giant samsung now supports tron network on its blockchain key store app um, and with this piece here it's uh, basically you know i'm not sure if this is what justin sun was talking about but it may have been Samsung is huge and yeah that's basically it so this piece here the Tron is integrated through the updated Samsung blockchain key store SDK where the developers can build applications running on the Tron blockchain so that's good to have it in the key store because um, that piece right there for the devs very useful it's growing actually um, I checked it out myself because I am a dev um, and it is a decent piece the so it's something that's going to grow. Chinese official slams Libra. It says central bank will issue digital currency first. I told you China's moving fast. I'm <laughs> just joking. Um, High-ranking Chinese official Ha Wang Kuofan, uh believes that Facebook's Libra is doomed to fail and that China's central bank will be the first to issue a digital currency. <laughs> the first to issue a digital currency. Excuse me, but you know there's uh, Apollo in Africa that's going to be cooking as fast as you guys most likely and faster we're gonna have more cryptocurrency uh, national currencies than China um, so anyway our Russia official plans to rival Bitcoin mining mega farms of Texas a massive new Bitcoin mining facility looks to be coming to Russia 
The vast new data center is being constructed by a Russian mining company, a firm owned by the nation's internet ombudsman. The planning mining operation looks set to be one of the largest on the I have fun doing this, sorry. The news follows announcement by Bitmain and the Layer 1 detailing plans to open vast new facilities in the U.S. state of Texas. So you got also XRP MoneyGram. Um, this article, when you read it, it is MoneyGram pushing a ripple to expand further. Um, and how this also is a piece here, how XRapid is no more. It's not the product XRapid is no more. No, they just rebranded. And now they call it the on-demand liquidity. And banks use in their formats on-demand liquidity um, for their business needs. So it's a good little tie-in for Ripple to have it smoothly go into that setting. And Ripple is working to expand to more corridors. Um, and they want to get into South America and expand quickly through there. Uh, you have there, let's see, there's a new analysis here for um, Apollo. And that piece there, I did check it. So I didn't get a chance to watch it, unfortunately. Um, but uh, I think I'll list this down below for you guys so you can watch it. The Apollo devs are working constantly on the products. You can see here that they have the DEX 2.0. Oops, there we go. And the download chart file and a bunch of other stuff there for the network and the products. And look at this. You can see a lot of the compares are pretty much done. Those are then the opens and then the merge. And it's all progressing. There should be a new update coming out um, regarding the DEX. And bunch more of the upgraded for the sharding and that the next sharded block is coming quick so that's probably why a lot of that's going to be issued pretty quickly you've got the seven day oh no this is the 30 day chart for Apollo so you can see that Apollo is doing pretty good in the 30 days and this is the seven days so you can see how that's progressing and this is just the beginning and why do I say that because there's so much going on there's next week there's a big announcement for uh, Apollo for their Africa initiative for national currencies um, cross-border trade blockchain blockchain use um, for Apollo's blockchain with the governments well guess what Zimbabwe as I mentioned in my last video put out a piece where they said the central bank said they're gonna have a new currency but they're not saying what it is reporters are asking them what is it in this article <laughs> they are, will not say what it is but the one thing that this article did reveal is that as part of this piece the inflation level goes down quite a bit keep in mind Apollo's is zero percent inflation but the main key what I saw here and I'm not saying Apollo is doing it with Zimbabwe in this announcement I am not saying that at all because they're working I'll show you in a minute why I'm not saying that I'm just showing you what Zimbabwe is saying so you've got here that they're talking about the inflation, but they also mentioned about the bills and that they're saying that they're going to have uh, basically a $2 and a $5 bill um, as the issue of the currency. And that would be very easy for Apollo to print out, get it done, and make it happen. And they, do have, they do have the Zimbabwe, 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 the Zimbabwe sandbox as part of their roadmap and it's actively working and which is that works to do large capacity of national currency central bank tie-ins um, so that is something that is going on so with a two dollar and a five dollar bill as the currency that will be issued that is something to watch and see what happens here now regarding that that would be a rush if that was Apollo now there's no doubt about that the ADF group has partnered with Apollo to push through. They're so influential in Africa, it's pathetic. They deal with all the presidential and ministerial level officials in every country in Africa. And they are recommending Apollo to all these countries. So this partnership um, is pushing. And what's happening? Well, guess what? In the meantime, you have all this going on in your wallet. The DEX 
coming with that black mode soon so you can exchange in your wallet and send to your bank easily out of the wallet <laughs> that's a beautiful thing sending to your bank easily sending to the crypto debit cards easily exchanging your ETH for APL buying some packs stablecoin and buy some APL easily yeah that's what your DEX is there for and there's no KYC no verification it's your own exchange built into your wallet now with this meeting here a Lesotho 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 um, this one here this is what I was thinking could be the big news um, because they had this meeting and then they had a secondary meeting afterwards in the Prime Minister's office so in that country so that's what I'm thinking is more likely but it didn't help that Zimbabwe came out and said that they're doing it about the same time frame as Apollo now it may be both it may be neither it may be something else that Apollo has cooked up because why you've got this going on they've been working in Africa constantly with different countries and more and more are coming and more next year so it's going to be because there's 54 nations and a lot of them have hyperinflation or currency issues so you have them working and it's gonna be a long road ahead but they're gonna be signing as they go and in my opinion it's gonna be a domino effect so anyway all this is built into Apollo Apollo has all this and much more zero percent inflation adaptive forging most private with a public option feature rich data shard data be sharding nobody else could do it Apollo did it one to two seconds speed it's all there and it's all Apollo's they are setting history that's why I had this made up get your mood boots on because we're going to the moon and beyond um, Gary Browning made this photo up pretty tough looking no doubt the train is leaving the stature a station at stature but the train is leaving the station feature rich crypto Apollo and then you've got they're also doing this don't forget three exchange platforms you're gonna have the Apollo decks which we already have in the wallet already and they're enhancing it then they're gonna have an advanced trading platform on the new website that they're having built instant buy and sell platform plus two trading apps that you can download on your phones and do it up this is all coming soon so you can see they're they're working on all cylinders it's just going crazy so this big announcement next week this is what I was trying to get uh, to in the video you got Zimbabwe saying what they're saying you got the let's do two meetings okay you've got all these meetings with Steve and Willie going through meeting all these people and here's a picture of Steve in front of the Reserve Bank of Zimbabwe okay so that's we know they've been working with Zimbabwe the longest and the first so that's something you would expect and with this you've got this partnership with the ADF is historic and invaluable and in my opinion champagne bottles will be cracking soon because this is the beginning of history being made in Africa and my god I think it's going to be great for the African people because their inflation levels are going to go down with Apollo's 0% inflation currency oops where did he come from <laughs> well even the aliens like Apollo how do you like that the <laughs> ADF group partnership letter historic letter endorsing Apollo completely saying they were the obvious choice and with endless features Apollo uh, will be recommended as the piece I had this made up greatest opportunity of our lifetime it may be you're getting in the ground floor and it's something where it could generate huge in my opinion and this was a year plus ago a year and a half ago that Apollo will go to the top of the charts because of the all-in-one and the best devs in the world making the best products I think you're gonna see that and this is the one piece I wanted to get to before we got any further you would think from the video it's just the Sutu and Zimbabwe that are working close and they're visiting the central banks now you've got this one too so you just don't know what's gonna be announced on Tuesday because you've got or next week because you've got the central bank of Swaziland so again they're working with so many of the governments and so many of the central banks so what you got to understand is a big announcement is coming next week for the ultimate currency 
and it's going to be truly you can feel the excitement all through telegram twitter it is going crazy no doubt about that so anybody that's new to apollo take a look at their platform it basically gives you the breakdown of all their stuff and remember this apollo has the privacy people are calling it a privacy coin in the past even apollo did well guess what apollo's rebranding and they're going for the all-in-one with the best privacy features the and it should be that way it should be the all-in-one with best privacy features but with public option and that is the thing you want to have public options so and they've had it since the beginning for governments to use and things like that so you have the privacy if you want it you got the decentralized voting system file storage decentralized marketplace to spend your Apollos and buy and then have that stuff delivered to your door or digitally you have issue your own coin and do all these different pieces and a decentralized exchange being built in your wallet is invaluable and then you have the smart contracts so this is all coming in 2020 for the smart contracts and D apps on the ArcNet platform that they're building all the stuff the wallet page web wallets the easiest to set up then you can download the different wallets and then there's a hardware wallet you can store your coins on to the BitFi and then you look at the roadmap it's truly it's basically basically breathtaking because you look at last year you look what they did they've made the fastest network in the world by far one to two seconds sending from wallet to wallet Whew, fast okay and very fast to exchange to from wallet to exchange you have the privacy you have everything we just talked about okay last year they did it this year they did sharding nobody else could do it ethereum tried to do it apollo was the first for live database sharding that's done we all know about the updater who was into Apollo that prevents forks in the 51% attack. It's their invention. Theirs. And you look at all these African initiatives going on right now. Yeah, that's everything going on right now. Second quarter, it started Zimbabwe, Swaziland. And third quarter, Cameroos, Lesotho, Botswana. So you just don't know. Because oh, we're in the fourth quarter right now. And then you look at what they're doing for the new website, explainer video, white paper, tech paper, and then all the rest of these guys come through. The sandbox is open for Zimbabwe. And you have the Swali Land uh, second trip. So, so this is so much going on. You really don't know what's going to be the big announcement. Is it one? Is it two? Is it more than that? Is it going to be multiple things they're going to be announcing? Is Zimbabwe one of them? You just don't know. So this is what this is what really makes it totally, totally exciting. And while this is going on, you have this to look forward to next year, where they change and be the most advanced. Right now they're the fastest and most private, but they're going to be the most advanced network next year. Nobody will be able to touch them. Nobody. Ethereum, Bitcoin's archaic, their networks. Apollo is going to have the best network in the world and have the ArcNet for DApps platform to have the uh, DApps being done. Then they have the Apollo Cloud to store tons in a unique way. And then they have the TPS, transactions per second, going into the 1 million plus, blowing the doors off of anybody in the world. Anybody. Doesn't matter if it's Visa, anybody blows the doors off of everybody so that's the ticket Apollo is setting history they've been doing it all last year they're going shortly into world history in my opinion when they announce Africa this is why I started doing it a year and a half and a half ago why I thought this coin would go to the top everything I just said in this video you can see why okay everybody have a great one enjoy what's coming any breaking news, I'll have it for you. Oh, look at that news. Talk to you soon.